What's up everybody, Tindo here, that there's Hannah Warrior Princess, and we're starting out today at one of our flea market toy booths. We've got some, uh, we've got some things to screw into the wall. Stick around, we're gonna, we're gonna have a pretty fun day today. Price tags put on some new product. So happy. Before everything shut down because of the coronavirus, I couldn't find any of these guys. Now I've got enough to have a few at every toy booth. Look at that. That might, that might be my new favorite. All right, it's all coming together. That there's a Nerf wall. I'll tell you what, it's a small Nerf wall though in terms of what we're used to. Our, uh, our other booth in Kentucky is just like Nerf all the way around, but we squeezed it in there pretty good, I think. Okay, we've done all we're gonna do today. I'm happy with this, but we need to come back with lots more darts. I need to find more of these carts at the thrift because I think what we want to do is actually do pegboard all the way around the top and then those carts all the way around the bottom. The cart's just full of buttons and these guitar picks. You know, just carts, carts, carts full of knickknacks and stuff. But uh, this is all we can do today, but that's a good start. Because I think when people walk down this aisle and they see those hanging there, because you can, you can pretty much see the shelf when you walk in the front door because of all those colors. So it's a good start. It's a good start. This store officially opens tomorrow or today. Yeah. It's open. Yeah. It's open, open. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's get out of here and let people shop and we'll come back in the next couple of days with more stuff. All right. So there is, as I've said many times, a Goodwill right next to our flea market and we're going to go in there. We were actually in there yesterday, so I have no high hopes we're going to find anything at this first stop, but it seems kind of pointless to not at least go in there and make sure they have it restocked since we were in here yesterday. So we're going to do that. And then there's a couple more Goodwills on this side of the town. We're going to go check out. So hang tight. We're going to get some thrifting in. So they've clearly restocked because there's some sports memorabilia over there. And then there's a couple pops, Hannah. I don't know. I don't know if they're worth anything. You want some Harley die cast here? I'm so uninformed when it comes to pops. I don't know if those are worth anything. With my luck, they're probably just worth 10 bucks. They're Mark seven. So unless they're worth a few bucks, we're not going to get them. Here's uh, Will Smith's character from uh, Suicide Squad. That's pretty cool. Never seen that before. So Rick is only worth 10 on a good day. So we're going to put him right here by poop emoji. Check this one out. What does it look like? Daryl. Top down view. Dicks. Oops. What did you just type? <laughs> there was no K. It was just a C. Dixon. Pop. Pop. Well, that's not him. That's him. So you can buy one right now for 10 bucks. All right, well. They're $10 pops, but it's worth a try. All right, absolutely. Whoa, did you see that? All right, uh, all right, absolutely. Whoa, did you see that? Absolutely nothing at the first stop, but uh, there's some of my favorite Goodwills on this side of town. So we're gonna go to at least two of those today. And then uh, I don't know what we're gonna do after that. I've got some stuff I wanna maybe do at home, but we'll see how crazy this thrift trip gets before we talk about doing anything else. You ready? All right. You wanna know what the best thing in the world is? An icy. You know what the, 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 the extra best thing in the world is? A free icy. Hey. Hannah somehow just walked up to the, to the Taco Bell door and sweet talked this dude into giving her an icy. What? 
He was like, what are you getting? She's like, I was going to just get two ices. He's like, I'll get them. Comes back out. Hands, did he wink? Hands them to her. Did he wink at you? What? <laughs> what? He's like, don't worry about it. I was about to hand some cash. He's like, don't worry about it. And I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> well, you know what? It's a good day. Happy. If, if we find nothing at the thrift today, it's fine. We got a free icy. All right. We've got a, we got a bit of a long drive to the first stop, so hang tight and we'll get there. How do I get out of this parking lot? Oh no. I legit got to back up again. 13 point turn. Mm -hmm. Here, hold this icy sword for my seatbelt on. <laughs> this guy's watching me like, what is this guy doing? Hey, it's hard. It's hard driving to these tiny parking lots with this big van. All right, we're going to mount the curve. We took the curve. All right, it was about a 40 minute drive all the way over to this Goodwill. It may not end up being worth it, but it is one of my favorites. And it's usually worth making that drive. Will it be this time? We're gonna find out. something that I didn't really ever anticipate finding, which is a piece of Fenton glass. And I know it's Fenton because I did a little research on it a minute ago. And this is a toothpick holder and it's the Daisy and Button print. This is only 99 cents um, and I think it sells for about 10, $15. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it and give it a shot. It's a little top hat. Those, yes, they're Wii Motion Plus controllers. That price tag is worth those two controllers alone. So we're gonna be buying that for sure. I got really excited about these shelves because I thought they were my normal shelves, but they're not. They're short. Lol, that's a hamster representation of Hannah. Hannah hamster. Okay, I think I think we found find of the day. I, I, I'm actually in disbelief. This is one of those Pokemon gold cards. I don't even know which one's in here because it's sealed. Can you believe that? I've got this whole set, but I've never found one that's sealed before. Man, do I wish that was in the box. That's crazy. This bandsaw has been here forever and I would love to have it, but the price has not come down yet. If it ever comes down, I'm, I'm gonna get it. Check this out. You, you ready? Yeah. Huh, nice. It's sealed and it's only $1.49. I like it. Do we open it up to find which one it is or? That's tough. No. Uh, after probably the second or third day in a row paying like 30 or so bucks for a Wii, it makes me really miss the Goodwill bins because I was used to paying three or $4 for them just every day of the week. But I paid that much today for this one because there's two Wii Motion Plus remotes in there. And those both right now are pretty hot. They'll probably sell for 30, 40 if we're lucky a piece. And then we'll probably sell this Wii in person on offer up or something. Uh, we've sold a few this week that way. So we're more than gonna make our money back on that, but whew, I sweat paying that much for them. I'm so spoiled with the bins. We gotta get back to the bins soon. All right, here we go. Next stop. This almost looks like we're back in California with all these palm trees, but uh, fingers crossed. I want some more video games. All I got was like a Barbie game at the last one. Barbie game and an X-Men game. Let's find something playable. I want some GameCube games or something. Fortnite trading cards. Let's go. Didn't know that existed, but I'm not surprised. Found some like brass, copper looking cook pots that are really beautiful. They are made in Portugal, which is pretty cool. They want a pretty good price for them. Um, one's eight, one's 10. They kind of sell for that, or for 20 at least, but um, I'm not gonna get them, but I do really like them. And there's something that if they were a better price, I would have definitely gotten them. Um, here's a meat smasher and a tiny cast iron. These typically are like in little sets with cookies that you can buy at Christmas. I need some cheap storage solutions. Not finding anything crazy, but there's a couple things that here I actually need. 
a power brick for one of those $1 Xbox 360s I bought last week. And then, of course, some Wii cables, just a couple bucks a piece. But I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this nasty shelf. I just need some cheap shelving solutions for my workshop, and I think that's going to do me good. Those copper pots are a hot commodity. Someone's over there looking at them right now. I really want them, but they're just not a practical purchase. If they're like $10 already and they only sell for like $20, it's just not smart to get them, but I really like them. Bye! It's good. She can have them. Hmm. Not a lot here. Ooh, I don't have that. We're gonna, we're gonna go to at least one more. Might be a little bit more. We actually just found out today that almost all the Goodwills in town are open back up. They, they shuttered the reopening quite a bit. I think on the first week, 20 opened up. And over the next two weeks, another 50 opened up. That leaves about 30 or 40 that were still closed. And someone told me today that most of the rest are open. So the one we're heading to right now, I don't know if it's actually open. But we're gonna go find out. It was really 50 50 as to whether or not this Goodwill was going to be open. Turns out it is, so there's a lot here. I bet these are all nonsense, but we're gonna look. Wait, is that same, same? Very nice. What else here? I just bought that game. Wonder if they have any idea that this shelf is upside down. That's definitely the bottom. This is the exact kind of thing that I want to find, but not the right price for it. These are vintage Libby amber glass um, butterfly glasses. My grandmother actually had these same glasses and they're really beautiful. I love the fluted shape of them, but four bucks for the two, four bucks each for the two tall glasses, three bucks each for the short ones. I mean, that's just about how much they go for. I can't do it. Mm, sad. All right, we're home and we're gonna go through everything that we got here in just a second, but there's one little project I wanted to get out of the way today before the day is over. And I've just been in my head trying to design a button of my own with our logo on it, with the Tindo logo on it. And I've just been going back and forth and I finally think I can visualize a design. So let's go make the design and then we'll come back and we'll try to make some buttons out of it today. So stick around. go take a look at this a tindo button i really do want to know what you think about this comment below should i throw a couple up on tindo's trash for sale and also this makes me think of something else i've been meaning to discuss on the channel which we might as well do now uh, as of about a week or two weeks ago we were approved on youtube for uh their subscription program and that was actually really some crazy news because up until now nobody with less than like a hundred thousand su subscribers was approved for YouTube memberships. And 
I hadn't thought much about it, but I will say that probably once a week, twice a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, some of you guys message me or comment below in the videos and say, hey, when are you going to start a Patreon or, or something to that effect? Uh, and it seems like there's more than a s small handful of people out there that would like to see us do something like that. And I've definitely considered it a bunch, and it's something I've stayed away from because uh, unless we can supply something of actual benefit to you guys uh, that are watching, I don't want to charge for anything. It just wouldn't make sense unless it's something really, really worth the money. So I want to go ahead and float an idea past you guys, and if you would comment below, tell me what you think about it, or, or message me on the Discord, or even comment on the Discord, and maybe we could make this a point of discussion around today's video. Uh, what would you think if we started a, a YouTube subscription, which you, nothing would change, first of all. All the videos we make daily, you'd still be able to watch them. What we would add would be for, I think the YouTube subscription fee is $5 a month, and for, for that we were thinking we could do something to the effect of. There's, there's no solid decision as to whether we're going to do this, much less solid decision as to what we would do for it. But uh, we thought maybe we could do one exclusive video a week, so one extra video a week that only subscri um, subscription holders would have. And then we thought also maybe once a month, or once every couple months or something like that, for that fee, we would send everybody that has a subscription out some item. So it could be a vinyl sticker this month, a button the next month, or miniaturized versions of our art prints or something that would be easy to put in an envelope, uh, you know, signed art prints, just, it could be any number of things. And honestly, I'm leaning towards not doing anything like that right now. I'm, I'm not in a rush to, to have anything quite like that. Uh, but I get just enough messages from people that would like to see us have a Patreon or something that like that I, that I never really considered it until we were approved for the YouTube subscription service. Um, just because I don't want to go start another page and offer up another thing you guys have to go to to participate. So comment below. Go join the Discord if you haven't already. Let's have a conversation over there about that today. Would you like to see something like that? Would you be interested in um, extra videos and nice little monthly prizes? If so, let me know. It's definitely something we'll consider doing if enough people seem interested. But I'm not in a hurry to do it. So if there's not if there's not enough hype around something like that, maybe it's something we'll do later on. But at any rate, I'm very happy about these. I'm thinking somewhere in the coming weeks uh, I'll make enough of these and I'll actually just include a free one of these in every order that goes across TendosTrash.com. So if you go over there and buy something, Maybe, maybe you can expect an extra pin, a little extra surprise, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm happy with that. I don't think because of ego I can uh, walk around with this on, but how's it look? Do you approve, Hannah? Looks good. All right, well, let's get this video wrapped up, and, uh, and then we'll get out of here, all right? All right, guys, that's going to be it for the day. We're going to run through all this stuff that we got. There's a couple games in here I'm actually excited about or at least curious about and i don't even know what you bought we, i only got one thing we kind of had like a weirdly busy day where despite the fact we were at thrift stores we were still responding to offers and taking care of other business on our phones so like we didn't pay much attention to each other <laughs> we, even though we just spent the whole day together we kind of got home and we were like what did we just do <laughs> uh all right so the first thing we got i didn't buy this today this is actually from earlier today this is my stud finder and it's a good one I don't know how it ended up in this bag, but it did. All right, I'm going to pile my games up out here. You go ahead and grab some stuff and talk about. Well, you grab your thing. What you? I don't even know what you got. Ooh, <laughs> it's a surprise. We did talk about it. You'll remember it when I find oh. it. If I find it in this mess. Last bag. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah. You, you said it. Glass. You said it's a toothpick holder. Yes. It's like a top hat. Yeah, my grandmother had this stuff when I was growing up. What do you call this glass? Fenton. Fenton. That's the name of the brand or the name of the glass? The brand. So this is an amber glass with the daisy and button pattern. Amber glass is what I was looking for. Yes. Okay. It is nice. It's cute. Well, I got one of these Pokeballs. It, I'm sure most of you know what this is, but just in case you're watching and you don't, when I was about eight or nine years old, you could get a kid's meal at Burger King and then pay like three or four extra dollars and you would get these Pokeballs with these gold-plated Pokemon cards on them. And I thought these were just the best thing ever when I was a kid. And uh, as soon as we started this channel, and this channel was built mostly at the time around collecting. I was just a collector. I was going to collect cool stuff from the thrift stores. I always wanted to find a set of these. And I actually started out in our earliest episodes just buying the Pokeballs, thinking I'll find the gold cards eventually. 
Um, and then one day, found all six of them, the whole entire set, in a bin at the Goodwill bins. Um, comment below, what should I do with this? Because it's sealed, and the only way you would know which one this is is if it was in its original box. Um, I kind of tried to pry on it a little bit and get it open in here so I could get a peek -see. And for whatever reason, it's not happening. So, do I leave it sealed and sell it at our flea market or sell it on eBay as a surprise? Or should we open it? Comment below. What do we do? I'm not going to open it right now. I might just leave it on my shelf next to the rest of these as a sealed one. I'm sure at some point it's going to bug me so much not knowing what's in there, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, I bought uh, an Xbox 360 power supply, and I, I was quick to buy it because I did not know this until the other day. Do you guys remember a few episodes ago I bought, like, three Xboxes for a dollar a piece? I did not know there were different configurations on this style power block, but there are. So I've got the one that fits the 360 I bought a couple days ago. So I'll be able to test that, and then... Uh, We'll talk about that in a later episode because I got a lot of testing left to do. All right. Oh, I this, forgot we got this. Yeah, this is so great. This Wii. Um, I'll go ahead and take these out. Where's those scissors that I had? We already put them. Don't worry yep. about it. We already put them away. I'll just rip it <laughs> with my strength. Um, if you don't know, and, and you do dabble in reselling, and especially video game stuff, uh, the the controllers that say right here at the bottom, Wii Motion, uh, yeah, Motion Plus, those are the ones you want. Those are the ones that are selling for a lot right now, and that's why, that's the only reason I bought this one. I would not have paid $30 for that. Uh, last week, I paid $30 for Wii, and I only did so because it had this Wii U, still a Wii controller, still the same, but came out in the Wii U era, but it's a Motion Plus, and this one also has fancy designs but these are spotless these are virtually unused they they're, are usually we get these and they're so dirty but that'll be a good little flip uh i already have plenty of the blue ones myself so i don't really need to worry about keeping them but that's good and it has another wii mode in it so we'll sell that just like that probably toss in a game and we'll sell those separate that's probably fine of the day i don't know all right that's not it though is it a Wii cable. I can't believe I'm paying $2 a piece for these. You guys remember the days when I'd go to the Goodwill bins and I'd come home with a dozen of these for nothing? Alright, let's go through my stack of games. Definitely comment below if there's anything here you think's a banger and I should play. Um, there's a lot. So here's probably the best banger. Bar Barbie, Groom, and Glam Pups. <laughs> the lady at the cash register when we were checking out was like, very curious as to why I was buying this, but I only bought it because it's in its box, so I usually snatch those up at the first chance. And it's spotless. It's untouched. Nobody ever played this thing, so I bought it up. We should play it on bad video games just to give it one one round. Yeah. This golf game actually looks kind of dope. It's called King of Clubs Mini Golf, and the Elvis impersonator on the case is a big lol. So that's pretty good. And this I was really confused about. I went ahead and got it. I already have it, okay? It's uh, Island Sports Party Summer Sports 2. But the copy I have actually has this, what the booklet has on it on the cover. Hmm. So this is a different cover of the same game I already have. And I've already got like 10 Wii games I have two copies of because of that. So I went ahead and got it. So I've got them both now. I think they remade the cover later because this looks like Indiana Jones. And then they wanted it to look like Wii Sports since Wii Sports sold so well. So I think they redesigned the cover later to, to kind of be indicative of that. If I had to guess, I, I'm just making that up otherwise. I don't know, but it's what it seems like. This was really curious. This looks up your alley, Hannah. Uh, World of Zoo? World of Zoo. You I can... saw you buy both of those. I was like, how are they both at the store at yeah, the same time? Yeah, I, I imagine some kid just loved it so much and had both. So they donated them at the same time. But, uh... I got them both. Interesting. Uh, Warhawk for the PS3. I like these kinds of airplane games. Uh, so I figured it'd be worth a shot. And it has like actual uh, third person shooter and tanks on the back too. So maybe it's all kinds of uh, fighting. But I bought it because of the airplanes. And then Cooking Mom on the DS for the games that I got. This might actually be fine of the day. I don't know. Hannah, Hannah might play this one too. Um, Glad to have it, though. And then the last game I got, X-Men Origins Wolverine, I had it on the 360, but not the PS2, which, uh, or, I had it on the 360 original Xbox, I don't know which, but I got it on PS2. If I was going to play it, it'd probably be 
PS2. It's my personal preference. But uh, that's everything we got. What's your favorite thing that we got today? Need I ask? The sealed Pokemon. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, this is definitely the most uh, curious thing that we got. This will probably be the clickbait cover. Like, we'll make a big face and be like, it's sealed! Because it is. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy to find it. I just wish I knew what it was. Open. Just accidentally drop it. Yeah. Just <laughs> it, spike it on the ground. Yeah, my, my favorite thing is, uh, probably that too. I, uh, I, can't, I couldn't believe it was there and I couldn't believe it was so cheap. But that's it, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, do me a favor before you go. Go check out Tindostrash.com. There's probably some new buttons on there, so just, at least just go put your eyeballs on them for me. The more traffic our website gets, the better off we are. Not necessarily because you might buy something, but because when people search for certain things that our website might be selling, the more people actually go to our website, the more Google might actually give us a chance to surface in normal search results. So in that way, you could really be helping us out if you just go check out our website. Also, guys, before you go, do me another favor. Think about joining our Discord. I've already mentioned it once today, but uh, it would be great to have you over there. We grow in members every day, and it's really to that point where almost, almost no point in the day is it too quiet over there. So it's almost just crowded enough to where there's always someone over there chatting or showing something they found from the thrift store that day, et cetera, et cetera. So the link for that's below. Definitely go check it out if you would. And then, guys, before you go, pretty please hit that subscribe button. Well, first, I should probably say th huge thank you to all you guys that have been watching recently and subscribe. We've, we've hit a, a little up uptick in speed. You know, we've, we've, we're starting to climb a little bit faster than we were, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. I, I probably shouldn't live and die by that sub count increase as much as I do, but, you know, we're all addicted to social medias, etc. in our own way. And these days, instead of uh, nervously checking my Facebook feed, which I've pretty much quit, I nervously check our subscriber count. So uh, an extra big thank you to all of you guys who have hit the subscribe button because it makes me, it gives me a little hit of adrenaline. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and also, maybe uh, if you think you've subscribed, maybe just make sure that you have because I get comments every now and then. This is by no means some huge thing, but I do get comments randomly that like, I subscribed to you, bro, and I just looked and I wasn't, so I resubscribed. <laughs> so, if you think you're subscribed, maybe just double check today and make sure you are, because sometimes YouTube's like, no, didn't happen. <laughs> didn't happen, bro. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you are subscribed, consider hitting that notification bell. That actually matters, because uh, if, if I post a video and it gets huge amounts of viewership up front... YouTube will actually boost the video in search results. Not unlike how I just descri described websites with Google. Uh, the more views we get up front, the better off the video will be at the end of the day because of how YouTube's algorithm works. So that notification bell is actually way more important than you would think too. Because uh, if you come watch right away, it's better. It's way better. But that's it guys, I appreciate it. We'll be posting another video tomorrow because that's what we do here. We post videos every single day. So until tomorrow guys, Peace out.